A tattletale theory? You betcha! Hey yo Prodigies, Prod Charles here, and in this video I'll be showing with you another tattletale theory. This one will explain how the baby tattletales lay eggs. If you find this video too long for you, remember to tap add to and select watch later to save your progress, or just do it for fun. And remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more cool and interesting horror game theories. Keep in mind that we will cover the egg laying mechanics of the baby tattletale, because as far as we know, Mama Tattletail does not lay eggs and only tells stories. Let's start with what we know. We know that the Tattletails are loosely based on the toy, the Furby. We also know that they could have been based on the toys known as Hatchimals. Fun fact, Mama looks like she was inspired by the 80s toy, the Teddy Ruxpin, who was also a cute slash scary storytelling doll. If you'd like to learn more about it, check my When Was Mama Band theory. The Baby Tattletales product box tells us that the Baby Tattletales can lay eggs, but we don't have any clues that Mama can do the same. Got all those facts? Now let's bring it all together. In order to discover how a Tattletale might have laid an egg, we need to look at real life examples of toys where this was actually the case. This is because in the game we don't actually see them laying eggs themselves, they just kind of appear all over the house. Now we know that Tattletales are commonly compared to the popular toy in real life, the Furby. However, we have not seen a Furby capable of laying eggs. They are also compared to the Hachimals, plush toys that hatch from eggs, but while we're able to see that Tattletales might hatch from eggs using this example, there are still no cases of Hachimals actually laying the eggs. Besides, the eggs that the Tattletales lay look way smaller. We know for sure that Tattletales lay eggs, as mentioned on the product box in the game, and when they eat something, it comes out of the egg that it lays. So what can we do? We've gone through all the possibilities. Not exactly. Enter the Wufflove. There used to be a toy known as the Wufflove, which laid eggs containing smaller Wufflovs that could be placed back into their eggs and their parent Wufflove to be laid again. So, how does it work? I'll tell you now, and just a quick warning, this is a little bit disturbing. You've been warned. Alright, let's go. First generation Wovloves give birth after 30 minutes of playtime, or after 10 minutes for the second generation. This involves patting its back, making noise around it, or rocking it around. You can also feed it by giving it a plastic tattle treat, uh, I mean, a plastic num num. Eventually, the Wovlove will say, Here comes baby! and a countdown will start to indicate that the Wovlove is giving birth to an egg. Opening the egg will reveal a baby Wovlove, and the Mama Wovlove will then try to recognize and sync with the baby, giving it a name. It takes a while for the Wovlove to actually lay an egg, so if you want to see the process in full, check the video in the description. It is quite possible that Tattletales lay their eggs and are reloaded in the same manner, except instead of laying more baby Tattletales, the baby Tattletales just lay whatever they eat. How whatever they eat gets into the egg is a whole other story. What's interesting is that the Mama Wav Love has to sync with her babies to detect them, which might be similar to the feature in Tattletale where Mama can detect the baby Tattletales and the pitter patter of their feet. Could this possibly be further support of our Tattletale wolf pack theory? Whatever the case, I think that this is the closest that we can probably get to explaining how the baby Tattletales lay eggs. For now, what do you think? Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more cool and interesting horror game theories and secrets and prodigies. I really hope that these theories help you to expand on how you think so that it can help you with how you go about your thinking in your daily lives. See ya!